Hey, you arrived in Korea on a working holiday visa, exchange student visa, digital nomad visa, or any other long-term visa, more than 90 days, you must visit the immigration office to apply for a resident card. I want to let you know about my newsletter, Digital Nomad Korea, where I send out a weekly newsletter about being a digital nomad in Korea with the latest guides, tips and tricks and updates, everything you need to know about being a digital nomad in Korea. Let's continue. So if you arrive in Korea, you have to apply for the resident card at the immigration office within 90 days. Otherwise, you will be overstaying your visa and you will be hit by late fees. So make sure you apply within 90 days. So today I'm going to show you how to navigate the immigration process and what you need to know when visiting. So first we are going to talk about how to make a reservation at the immigration office. Then we are heading over to what documents you need to bring and what you need to do at the immigration office. How do you make a reservation at the immigration office? The immigration office does not allow any more walk-ins to reduce waiting times. That means you must make a reservation when you come. Depending on which jurisdiction you are, it can take up to three to four weeks to get a reservation. My advice is when you arrive in Korea, make a reservation as fast as you can. And here is how you do it. Head over to the official website, highkorea.go.kr. Go to reserve a visit and press on apply. You scroll down to visit reservation application, non-member. Press OK. Here you put in the visa issuance number that you received from the embassy on your visa grant notice. Put in your name and birthday. Make sure that you write it exactly how it is written on your passport. If you live in Seoul, there are three different immigration offices. Make sure you select the one that is in your jurisdiction. Select foreign resident registration. You put in your phone number to get a confirmation message. Enter a passport to be able to make adjustments later on. Select a free spot that is white. Click on apply to confirm your date. Also get a confirmation message on your Korean phone number. Make sure you note down the correct address, otherwise you will end up at the wrong immigration office, which already happened to me. So what do I need to bring to the immigration office? Of course you need all the required documents, like a passport, a copy of your passport, a photo ID picture, the application form, and proof of residency. Means like a booking confirmation, Airbnb confirmation, or any contract with your landlord, and you need to bring cash to pay for the application fee. Other required documents specifically for your visa. Also make sure that you only submit copies of the documents because they won't be returned. For example, if you submit your original degrees or diplomas, it's time to say goodbye. So make sure that you make a copy of everything and only submit the copies. Also another tip if you're a long-term resident because you have to go to the immigration office every year, make a folder online where you upload all the submitters files so you can find them easily year by year because you usually have to submit the same documents over and over and over again. And this will save you a lot of time in the future. Now I'm going to take you to the immigration office and show you what you need to do on the day you apply for the resident card. Here we are at the Seoul Southern Immigration Office check where the resident permits are. Here is on the first and second floor. Check which floor you have made the reservation. This is the waiting area. Check when your number is being called and go to the right counter. You can also fill out the application form at the immigration office, but I would recommend you to do it beforehand and save time. This is where you pay for your application fees. The 
Application fees are 30,000 won for pickup and 34,000 won for delivery to your home. Scan your passport and check if the information are correct. Select pickup or delivery. Press um, pay by cash, the first one. Put cash into the cash counter. Now is the most important part. Don't forget the receipt and hand it over to the officer. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and also subscribe to my newsletter, digitalnomadkorea.com. And if you are interested in being a digital nomad in Korea, watch this video. If you're interested in finding housing in Korea, I made a very comprehensive guide. Click here. And see you at the next video. Bye-bye.